welcome to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be making today is a turnip casserole. Here in Newfoundland and Labrador we call rutabaga turnip and we know the difference of course but uh, this is a local turnip that my brother-in-law gave me. I'm not going to cut this one today but I'm going to show you how many turnips we're going to use for this casserole dish and let's get started. So depending on the size of a casserole dish you want to make, I'm just going to make a square um, casserole. Uh, but this is the size of turnip that I use and I got five turnips in this one. But if you add four medium, that's fine. And cut them up into cubes like this and cut up one onion, uh, peel one onion, cut it in half. We're going to boil that together until it's fork tender. We got two cups of uh, grated uh, dry bread crumbs and then we got two tablespoonfuls of butter, two eggs, two tablespoonfuls of brown sugar, eight of a teaspoonful of nutmeg, pepper, I got a half a teaspoonful but you judge yours and then we got a half a teaspoonful of sea salt that we're going to put in with the turnip to boil. So let's get going on that. So what we're going to do, we're going to have a uh, half a baller of uh, boiled water and then you're going to put your you're going to put your onion in there and cut it in half and then scoop up all of your cubed turnip and then because my water is boiled and I got my turnips and that in there now which is rutabaga put in your half a teaspoonful of sea salt and that's the only salt you need to use for this dish so that's all of our turnip in the boiler and what I mean by that's all the salt you will need to use you don't need to add any more in this dish just what you're boiling it with and that'll season those turnips just perfect and I'm going to continue calling it turnip because that's what this dish is even though it's a rutabaga we're using I'm going to cover the boiler put it on a medium heat let it boil until it's fork tender and then I'll show you what we're going to do with it next now I just want to check my boiler. They're coming along lovely. Like I said, you only need to have it fork tender. It's coming along nice. Okay, our turnips are boiled. I'm going to take them out of our boiler now, put it into the bowl to mash it, and I'm going to show you what that looks like. So all you needed is fork tender, and that's what we got there now, as you can see. So what I'm going to do is scoop all of this into my bowl with the onions, because I'm going to mash that in with the turnip. So just make sure all the water, we don't need much moisture in there, because there's going to get enough from the turnip. So I'm just going to strain all the water and into the bowl. Okay, so let's toss that in there. Now what I'm going to do is reach for my other ingredients and get that put in the bowl. So what we're going to do is toss in our butter first. I'm going to get this starting to mash. So you're just going to use an old fashioned masher to mash it until it's all combined. Then we're going to toss in our brown sugar. We're going to be putting in our pepper and our nutmeg. So we're going to continue mashing now. So now this is a lovely side dish. You can add this with a turkey meal, chicken. You can serve it with some fried ham and your family would love it. So what we're going to do now, we got two cups of the bread crumbs, stale bread crumbs. And we're going to put a full cup into leaving a cu another cup in there for putting over the top. So we're going to put a cup of the stale breadcrumbs in with the mashed turnip. And then I'm going to show you what's next. So what I got here is two large eggs. I'm going to break them, put them on into a separate bowl. And I'm going to just mix them around slightly and then we're going to put them in with our turnip. So that's all you need to do with that, just until it's mixed. So what we'll do now is reach for our turnips. So what we'll do is remove our masher and just have our spoon. So what I'm going to do now is pour the eggs in here and we're going to mix it nice and fast because we don't want it to cook. All 
right, so once you've got that done, your turnip mixture is going to look like this. Now this smells amazing in here. So this is moving along nicely now, so I'm hoping you're excited to see the finished project of, uh, of this dish. So what I'm going to do now is scrape this in to our casserole dish. Okay, so you're just going to scrape it all in there like this. Okay, so that's all you need to do with that. So what you'll do now is just spread it out into your casserole dish. Now, if you need one that's bigger than this, double in size, you just double this recipe and that's fine. This here is a serving for six people. And again, depending on how much you want, you can have a little bit more or a little bit less. So then we're gonna take our breadcrumbs and pour over the top. Just dump it all over like this. So this is a cup full over the top and this will give it a nice crust. You can add, if you want to, some salt and pepper over the top of this or you can just leave it toasted with the golden brown when it comes out of the oven. So this is how easy it is to make this turnip casserole. So what I'm going to do now is put it in a preheated oven of 350 degrees for 30 minutes or until golden brown, depending on your oven. So let's get going. Welcome back to Bonita's Kitchen and our turnip casserole is baked. I'm gonna take it out of the oven now and show you what it looks like. Okay, this smells and looks amazing. I can't wait to cut into it. So this is what it looks like. It's got nice crust over the top with the, the dry bread crumbs um, and inside you can see it's golden. You can also cut it in four if you want it for four people or six or just cut out a piece. Just dig in. I'm going to take out a nice helping here now and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Gonna take this up here now. Just look at the turnip all baked nice in there, and I'm gonna put it over into my plate. I'm excited for you guys to make this now. If you haven't had turnip casserole before, this is an amazing dish and so tasty. You can have it with so much. Here now I got some fried um, ham and I got some of my pickled beets and the green tomato chow chow, and of course the white bread recipe, and all that's on Bonita's kitchen. I'm going to have a taste here now. I can't wait. Mmm. So delicious. I can just sit and just eat this like that. What a wonderful taste of turnip. That was so delicious that time. I can't wait to finish this meal. If you enjoyed this one and you'd like to see more of our traditional, non-traditional Newfoundland and Labrador meals, all you got to do is subscribe to our channel, hit the link down under this video, and we'll also provide the recipe for this, uh, this meal today and all of the other meals. Don't forget to visit us on www.bonditaskitchen.com. You can leave us a message there. We would love to hear from you. And also you can check out our Facebook page and leave a message on there. So thank you for joining us once again for Bonita's Kitchen for turnip casserole from our kitchen to yours. You have a wonderful day. If you're visiting Newfoundland and Labrador, don't forget to check out the beautiful town of Clark's Beach and join us again on Bonita's Kitchen. Join us by the sea, a journey in culinary, always an open door. Bonita's Kitchen to yours, Bonita's Kitchen.